You have nothing to fear. Your people have nothing to fear. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. More monsters for fun and profit. We're looking at TV movie The Gargoyles. What was that? That was someone waving their coat in front of the key light. If you have something worth my while, please get to the point. Expert on ancient myths, Mercer Bowley and his daughter, Diana, pay a visit to an old man with a story to tell. You'll see you'll be glad you came to see old Willie. But as old Willie tells them the story of the strange creatures that live in the nearby caves, <coughs> chaos ensues and the Bowleys barely escape with their lives. When I managed to grab the tape recorder. Well done. Shame about old Willie, but you can't save everything. But what was it that attacked? I wish I could have seen them. Well then, good news. They're on the roof. One good thing about this film is that it's not ashamed of showing its monsters. <laughs> and for a TV movie, they don't look bad. Can't I get a little privacy? Unfortunately, they're usually shot in slow motion to make them look more unnatural. The problems being that it doesn't make them look unnatural, it makes them look slow. And that if they're in a shot with humans, the humans also have to be in slow-mo. Or the gargoyles are normal speed. rendering the whole exercise pointless. More problematic is when the Bowleys go to the police to report Old Willie's death and... Come on, get down there. You go on down to the car and radio town, tell them we need a truck. The police arrest these innocent bikers. Why would you let those guys go to jail? Well, there's no way to stop that, darling. Not by me, at any rate. As well as making Mercer look like a dick, the police don't even consider the last people to see Willie alive who roll into town in a car that's clearly been in an accident, whose best excuse for the destruction of Willie's shack is... Could have been one of these sudden winds. ..and who just get more suspicious. This is the body of one of the gargoyles that was killed accidentally when they attacked the motel where the Bowleys are staying. Why did they attack? They want the bones of their dead. Because Mercer has one of their skulls on his bedside table. We've got to get this body to LA. Yeah, that's the only sensible thing to do. And I'm sure that as a direct consequence, no innocent people will be strung up by their ankles. Hey, there's a woman hanging from that pole. And no daughters kidnapped. Oh. 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 Diana. But they don't kill Diana. You must teach me, Diana. It's like a weird version of My Fair Lady. Meanwhile, Mercer finally goes to tell the police the truth. Let's get after them. That's all that counts. Pretty snotty, considering it's all his fault. Give him the body. That's what they want. No. Predictably, not a lot of this makes sense. Mercer thinks that the gargoyles have been with us throughout history. They've existed along with mankind from the beginning of time. So... Why haven't we seen them before? Good question. They show up, oh, about every four or five hundred years. Not really along with mankind, then, are they? Fascinating. The ending also lacks punch. <laughs> they just shoot the gargoyles. How clever you are. Yes, what a brilliant tactical move. Your choice has allowed you and your daughter to survive. It also allows me and my kind to survive. Perhaps at the price of your supremacy on Earth one day. There is a sense of, why can't we all just get along, we always end up hurting each other, that makes this feel like a TV movie. And director Bill Norton, seen here desperately trying to get out of shot, You're possibly here. <laughs> Directed a lot of cult TV, including episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. Tell me all about it. And this does bear comparison. 
only without the lucid plot, memorable characters, witty dialogue or any other reason for watching. Thanks for watching. For new bad movie reviews every Tuesday, subscribe here. With better writing, this could easily have been an episode of X-Files or Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What other B-movies would have made great TV? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me go. No.